what two videos in a basically normal time frame Hades must have frozen over hello everyone uh, how are you today uh, I had a little bit of time and I'd wanted to make a Valentine's video but that did not happen because I got sick again there's a terrible flu going around at work and I spent all of last week sick and I was like no I think I've only been healthy three or two weeks of this entire year prevention magazine said this would be my healthiest year yet prevention lies <laughs> um, I do have a little mini haul uh, because I did visit my friend Tarjay uh, because they had a special coupon in the entertainment section. If you spent $25, you got $5 off if you texted a code to Target. I think it was like you had to text music to Target or something like that, and then it sent you a coupon. I thought, mm, $25 is pretty easy to spend in books, so let's get $5 off. Uh, essentially, I got this one free. It's Julia Quinn's The Secret of Sir Richard Kenworthy. I sort of started skimming the first chapter. Uh, which might not be the best way to start a book, but I was sort of in a mood where I wanted to read last night, but I wasn't sure what I wanted to read, or should I go on Pinterest? So it was one of those nights. Um, I ended up on Pinterest, alas. I want to look up garden plans. I need I need spring. So I think the winter's just starting to depress me, and, and usually I turn to the seed catalogs then. Uh, basically, uh, Sir Richard Kenworthy uh, it starts off sort of paralleling uh, the first line of Pride and Prejudice where he says he, he has heard that it's a truth universally acknowledged, yada yada yada, but he really didn't want a wife, but maybe he should get a wife. And they're at this concert, and what's it say? He knows he can't be too picky, but when he sees Iris Smith Smith hiding behind her cello at her family's infamous musicale, he thinks he might have struck gold. She's the type of girl you don't notice until the second or third look, but there's something about her, something simmering under the surface, and he knows she's the one. Uh, she is used to being underestimated with her pale hair and quiet sly wit, of course. Uh, she tends to blend into the background and likes it that way. So when Richard Kenworthy demands an introduction, she is suspicious. Smart girl, probably. Um, he flirts, he charms, he gives every impression of a man falling in love, but she can't quite believe it's all true when his marriage proposal turns into a compromising position that forces the issue. She can't help thinking that he's hiding something, even as her heart tells her to say yes. Uh, and apparently the first line says he has less than a month to find a bride, which I don't know why. Uh, I did like the design of the book. It looked nice. Uh, it was an extra 15% off. And this one, I think, turned out being free uh, thanks to our $5 coupon. So yay, Target. I like that. Um, two that I've sort of been eyeballing because I like the first one. I think um, she wrote Me Before You. Does it say? Yes, Me Before You. And that was a book that was sort of quiet and unassuming, and I didn't think I would like it. And it turned out to be one of those books I liked so much that I wanted to voraciously gobble up everything else that she has. So I think they had one more that I didn't get. I think it was one plus one I didn't get. But they had the whole set of hers, Jojo Moyes. Uh, I got Silver Bay. Um, Liza McCollum will never fully escape her past, but the unscored, spoiled beaches and tight-knit community. There's my cat. Okay, it's cat eruption time. Alright, so now we're back. Cat is happy again. Uh, he said, you're talking to the camera! You're not talking to me! Why? Why? Um, so the tight-knit community of Silver Bay offers the freedom and safety she craves, if not for herself, then for her young daughter, Hannah. Uh, that is until Mike Dormer shows up as a guest in her aunt's hotel. This mild-mannered Englishman with his too smart clothes and distracting eyes could destroy everything Liza has worked so hard to protect. Not only the family business and the bay she treasures, but also her conviction that she will never love, uh, never deserve to love, again. Um, so this one sounded pretty interesting. It was an extra 20% off of 16. Um, so, yeah, I mean, all in all, not a bad, not a bad buy. And I do like that, um, 
Y'all know how we are in Bookland. They all look good together. So you might as well scoop it up whenever they're matchy matchy. Um, this one, the last letter from your lover. Signed copy at Target? Go figure. She actually has a signature akin to mine. Illegible. <laughs> um, so this one, in 1960, Jennifer Sterling wakes in the hospital and remembers nothing. Not the car accident that put her there, not her wealthy husband, and not even her own name. Searching for clues, she finds an impassioned letter, simply signed B, from a man for whom she seemed willing to risk everything. In 2003, journalist Ellie Hayworth... Haworth? There's no W there. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Uh, stumbles upon an old letter containing a man's ardent plea to his married lover. She becomes obsessed with finding out what happened to the couple. Perhaps if they lived happily ever after, her own complicated affair could have a happy ending too. A brief encounter for our time. This is a novel for romantics of every age. And again, 20% off of 16. Not too shabby. Uh, out in my car for my lunch reading book is another Linda Lale Miller romance book. I will probably just do the review, like a, a mini review, once I actually read it. I can't even remember what the title was. Sorry, guys. Uh, speaking of mini reviews, I did finish Linda Lale Miller's The Marriage Charm, which was book two of three, uh, The Brides of Bliss County. I feel like I had read this book before, but I couldn't find that it had been published elsewhere or through another publisher. Uh, but I did really enjoy it. She was a jeweler. He was the sheriff. Um, they had been in love in high school. Yes, high school. And then when she went away to college, and then I guess he also, because he was slightly older, um, he wanted her to, you know, have a normal college experience. So he broke up with her after she had proposed to him on the fourth. This is all in like the first chapter. So this is, this is not a spoiler. Uh, so she proposes. He says no. He lets her go. She sort of murks and depresses over him and eventually finds art, yay, art, as her calling and becomes a jeweler and then finds herself back in town with him as sheriff. So the three friends from high school, who the, each one is one of these books, uh, each one tells their little tale and this is, I don't remember her name, Melody. I don't remember names. I need to start reading more for content, I feel. Um, Maybe. I don't know. Uh, so this is about her story. Her, there's, there's some thievery going on in town, so we have a little bit of mystery. Uh, the townsfolk are all, of course, rooting for them, so we get to see how their story unfolds. And his name is Spencer. Yay! Recall. I did read this like a week ago, so I just remembered bits and pieces, not details. Um, I will say I wish I had read it in order. I don't think it's really paramount that you do, but I sort of feel like I wish I had. So I went back. That's how I ended up getting the other books at Target, hoping that they had the first one, which they didn't. Uh, so I'll have to Amazon that one sometime. But I'm sure since this is number two, three will be coming out soon. Uh, yeah, it was cute. Four out of five. Uh, predictable, but in a good way, because... I don't know, I think when we read our sort of romance novels we have a certain expectation of input to the end output and it delivered. Yay! I do like her books. Um, I sort of have like the, the couple authors that I really enjoy, of course Nora Roberts is one. I like her books also. Uh, my mom I know loves Amanda Quick. I never quite got into her but I have been reading some of them. Uh, my mom likes the more mysterious romance, um, so she'll probably like this one since there was, you know, the burglaries in town. What will we do? What will we do? Um, oh, and then a sort of entertainment note, since I had that coupon, I don't watch a lot of TV. I have a TV, but I just have the Apple, the iTV thing hooked up to it, and I really don't have a lot of shows because I just, I read, I don't watch TV, but I kept hearing good things about um, the New Girl and the first and second and third seasons, and I just got the first, uh, which if I do end up liking it, I'll probably regret not picking up the other two seasons. Uh, this was on sale for eight bucks. So I was like, okay, I'll try some visual entertainment rather than reading only entertainment. So hopefully it's good. I've heard good things about it. Um, Pretty much the only shows I watch are Doctor Who and Sherlock. And one of my guilty pleasures is The Carrie Diaries. Yes, I know, I'm an adult. Uh, but I did like Sex in the City once upon a time, so it's fun to see Carrie in her high school point of view. 
And that is it for TV for me, so let's see how I like it or if I don't. It'll probably take me years to watch, because I used to do that with Gilmore Girls, and it took me forever to get through them, even though I love them. I just, I don't like sitting down and having to watch something. I like to either be doing stuff or reading. So, eight bucks. If it takes me a year, then I have made an awesome bargain, because eight months divided by 12, that's cheap entertainment. Uh, so how was your Valentine's Day? Did you do anything? I did not. I was just recovering uh, from the flu. Um, not too exciting of a weekend, but I wanted to get a clip in uh, before the really end of the month and hopefully the snow stops. I'm really getting tired of it. Are you getting snow in your area? Are you sick of shuffling it also? I know I am. So yeah. Hopefully you're having a good week, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.